Mastercraft was founded in 1968, building their very first boat in a two-stall horse barn in Tennessee. They made about a dozen boats that year, and their goal was fairly simple. They wanted to maximize the pull for water skiing while minimizing the wake. Fast forward nearly 50 years, things have changed quite a bit. They're still based in Tennessee, but they're now a massive company, more than 400 employees. And instead of just minimizing wake, what a lot of customers want these days is maximizing their wake, the steepness and shape for wakeboarding and wake surfing. But water skiing does remain very popular and Mastercraft, the biggest name in that market. So this week on Foditis, we're gonna check out a prime water ski boat, the tournament series, the Mastercraft Pro Star 197. This 2012 is powered, like all Mastercrafts are, by a powerful Ilmore engine. Flat out you crack 43 miles per hour, but it cruises nicely at a more water sport friendly 28 miles per hour. While it has the ballast and has the tower so you can wakeboard or wake surf, this is primarily a water skiing boat, so it kicks out a very small water ski friendly wake. Another difference between this and the wakeboard models is noticeable when you pull the throttle back. The ProStar 197 rides incredibly low to the water. It looks cool, but it's a bit disconcerting at first, especially when a wave comes crashing into the bow, which happened to me. Oh. But aside from that unusual concern, there's another big difference you notice as soon as you step on board. The center-mounted engine keeps the weight forward and helps limit bow rise, but it means a large hatch right in the middle of the cockpit concealing the Ilmore power plant. Directly in front is access to the battery. With all that up front, it means the transom is free for ballast tanks for wakeboarding and for storage areas. The tower and forks further prove this water ski boat is no one-trick pony. It looks pretty boss too. And it has a bimini top with branded cover. For water skiing though, the pole is the tournament style, low profile, right in front of the engine hatch. The bow lounge is snug but comfortable with a well designed backrest right up front to watch the action behind the boat, all the seats with storage underneath. Midship, through the walkthrough windscreen and seating, is the action packed helm and rear facing judge's seat, all nicely upholstered. The ProStar 197 has all the gauges you could want in a sleek design. It has seat heaters, as well as obligatory stereo controls within easy reach to keep the captain happy. All handy when you're out to pull your friends around. And that happens fast, going from idle to plane in just four and a half seconds. A quick start is key for any tow sport, and all with very little bow rise. And of course, if you're gonna do any sort of water sports, water skiing, or wakeboarding, you need a spotter. But having this oversized rear view mirror really gives the driver a sense of comfort. You can see the wake and you can see what's going on behind you without taking your eyes off the water. You're unlikely to buy a boat like this unless you're planning to do a lot of water sports. And for that, it's all kitted out. But then again, it is pretty fun to drive all by itself. 